kidding. <laughs> Whose van is it? My mother-in-law, an amazing woman, so bright. She's so sweet because my mom is in town. On Tuesday night, she gets the day night off as well. <laughs> so she goes to like the library and bottom line is we, she doesn't know how to drive stick. So she takes our car. And so then we get, now we're riding in style. Riding in style. Um, Han, why don't you uh, pick up that letter on the floor and open it up? Okay. Let's just, uh, let's just. Oh my my. Oh my my. This is a great my hey hey hey. hey, hey. There goes my husband. Is it the right amount? Yes, it is. Oh, uh, hey Bam! Safe numbers. <laughs> uh, 22 years, folks, right here. I did win a little prize money last year in 2017. Woo but this check is from the 10K, six miles, six miles, in Vail from two weeks ago. It arrived in the mail. Thank you, uh, GoPro for putting on a great race and providing some prize money for the runners that work hard, work hard, work hard, <laughs> and put in the blood, sweat, and tears to try and, uh, well, frankly, provide for the family, mm. buy some running shoes. This check allows me to do a lot. Yeah. Buy vitamins, buy running shoes, mm -hmm. buy a rec center pass so mm. I can lift more and get stronger for the 100-mile race coming up. Nice. Bottom line is, I'm grateful, and but folks, 22 years. This just doesn't happen with a snap of a finger, and um. you gotta work hard, and you gotta stay consistent and keep believing, and I think I already mentioned this two weeks ago, but the top three runners, first mm. is 34 years old, I was second, 33 years old, and third place was 37 years old. So, Keep dreaming. If you're in your 20s or in your teens and you're like not winning races yet, don't worry. Keep fighting and you'll get there someday in your 30s because I'm going to win right now. Come on. Most people's hobbies or passion cost money. It costs the family money to like invest in the equipment or, or like if you're a skier or something like that. But my husband's hobby brings home the bacon. Hey <laughs> and he didn't mention this, but he also is giving part of that winnings, a substantial part of that winning to me so I can go have a spa day. Hey -o. I appreciate that. Spa day for the true love. Our ritual stop at Sweet Cow. We got a little sweet tooth tonight, a little sweet cow ice cream. Not Andy's. Whoa, whoa. I know. Haley, if you're out there watching, um, you're going to have to make it to Andy's at some point. It's, it's, it's superb. But every now and then we change course just a little bit. Just deviate a little bit. Oh, man. Okay, Snarfs. Let me tell you about Snarfs. It started in Boulder in the shack, a tiny little place. It is the best sub shop in Denver, no doubt. In Colorado, no doubt. Snarfs. S-N-A-R-F. And there, it's... I could say it's because of the fresh ingredients. I could say that. But the real reason is the bread. It's all about the bread. The bread is fresh baked, but how they bake it, I do not know. We just love Snarfs. We love it. We love it. So, and it's a way to save a little money because you don't have to tip. All right. Waiting for Sweet Cow as people stare at me talking to a camera inside a minivan. Have to sit outside because we don't know the code. Okay, but we be close. Hon, I love that idea. I love that idea, hon. Mm -hmm. Hang on. I'm still just eating whipped cream. Yeah. Okay, hang on. Oh, all that cookies on top. It's good. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Uh huh. Oh my. Oh there my. it is. I mean, I don't think it trumps Andy's, but it's a real close second. Oh, it's good. We need a bite of that. Uh -huh.